Hey guys, Casual Chrono here, working on some trials, and I'm going to attempt the trial of those embracing emptiness extreme. Let's get started. I think the first one requires Clart to be in the party. As far as this team, I'm using pretty much my Wind Super Boss team. Since I don't have two characters in the back holding Grasta, I have Azami holding the power of Gale, which I normally give to the other character. So that way I can have Clart. So we're going to check out. Once we get there, Trials of Those Embracing Emptiness Extreme. Uh, I just finished the regular, uh, not the extreme version, and I used my wind team, and I had absolutely no problems the entire time. Though I think this time around, I will probably have some difficulty. So, stage one. Let's see how it goes. I figure I'll have HP stoppers and all sorts of things. I chose Melody so that way I could reestablish Wind Zone fairly quickly. So, I pretty much did Faith, Binoct, Athdokis, and all that, and Twinblade Wolf in the first one, and that pretty much held me the entire time. And I'm definitely taking a lot. less damage. But that means Tetra's aura is now in effect. Alright, let's get some additional defenses up. Twin Blade Wolf should knock him out, so this way I can kind of buff for whatever comes next. So as far as defensive buffs right now, Tetra's aura is affecting Sesta. And in a moment, Tetra's aura should be affecting Yifa as well, assuming she lives this turn. I think... Hmm... I have Guns as the other sidekick, so if I blow the AF bar, my team's stats will all go up by 20%. And I kind of like that idea. Because if I blow it now, it'll build back up in time for me to use it again probably in the third fight. Plus, I think... Oh, this is my second to last turn with Wind King Stance. Alright, well, let's just try it and see. We're going to blow it, we'll do Starving Wolf, we'll do one Depravity, maybe work in a Magical Smash and do a Dark Drill. I just cast that, so Binoct and Anna Roar will probably be the main two. And I'll Floor Breeze it, so... I think I hit an HP stopper. I think I worked in most everything I wanted to. I don't know if I got Magical Smash in, but... Alright, I can see that Tetra's Aura did kick in. This is my last turn with the Awakened Zone. So let's, let's Dark Drill, let's Binoct. I kind of want a Starving Wolf. And we should probably Foy Sincere again to... Well, let's Floor Breeze it and let's work up that AF bar. And we'll see how much damage Starving Wolf can do. The idea behind me using Starving Wolf instead of Twin Blade, when the Wind Zone disappears, I should have one stack of Divine Wolf, which means I can still Twin Blade. Alright, so she's going to Twin Blade. We need to set Pain, so that's a given. 
Let's let's see. How are my statuses? Power increase speed by one turn. It's a type resistance. Type attack. It's a lot of stuff. Physical and type resistance medium. Let's go ahead and beef up defenses and use floor breeze to reduce power. So we're gonna twin blade, depravity, athdocus, and floor breeze. Power reduction. Pain and more reduction. Alright, hit the first HP stopper, and assuming everyone lives, I should get my wind zone. Oh, maybe not. He's got thunder zone. Oh, okay. So I destroyed his thunder zone. Nice. Alright, I can twin blade. We'll dark drill. We will binoct this time and floor breeze it. Looks like we need to actually... I wonder if I should depravity just to be on the safe side. Not only does depravity reduce the enemy's power and intellect, it also gives me a 50% damage barrier. Yeah, let's depravity it. Could just blow the AF bar, I guess, but... I don't know if there's any more HP stoppers. There we go. Round one of Trials of Those Embracing Emptiness Extreme complete. I think I hit all of the achievements. No one died. I have Clart. Pretty sure I finished in 10 turns. Yep. And I cleared all the missions. Alright. Stage one complete. All right, stage two seems to require crystal attacks. And one of the requirements... Let me go to that. Uh, clear state. One of the requirements is to do 500 million damage in one hit outside of another force. And then kill it within 15 turns. So... I'm going to try my Alma team, because we know that she can hit the barrier cap, the damage cap, under the right circumstances. And I know the third boss is weak. Ah, good, this one is too. So let's just go ahead and lunatic right away, drop attack order. Pain, Poison, and Overwhelm. The usual routine. Fire type weakened. That's interesting. Alright, so let's... Do Illusion Black Dragon. Let's Ether Alchema. Actually, let's Suzaku Encirclement. And we are going to Overwhelm again. Okay, that would look like 116 million. So definitely shy of the 500 million we need. Illusion Black Dragon, Aether Alchema, Nocturnal Procession, and Overwhelm. That was 145 million. Alright, so let's see if we can get 500 million in this hit. Aether Alchema. We're going to attack order to inflict break. We've cast our buff. So at this point, let's just uh, do that. And we'll overwhelm again, so that way we don't accidentally mess with the break. There's the break. That looked like 881 million, so I think we hit the requirement.
Let's see, is she still lunatic? No, so we're going to restore that. Restore magic zone. Pain, poison, and overwhelm. So we need to clear it in 15 turns. The first round took four for the setup. Oh, that's not good. I wonder if I can blow the AF bar and then have them restored during it. Uh, let's see. If I do, she is going to Lunatic and Aether Alchema. He would Suzaku and then that. I'm having to go by memory here. This is kind of weird. Um... She doesn't really do much of anything, and I guess she can Prominence Purge. So let's just see if blowing the AF bar actually will help. Nope, doesn't look like it. That's not going to be good. I guess technically blowing the AF bar does work in Gunz's aura, but still. Probably would have been better for me to, uh... Let's see, Suzaku... Nocturnal, and... Let's do a Prominence Purge. Alright, getting some mana generally back now. We have a Lunatic Dalma. Aether, Break, Nocturnal, and Overwhelm. And let's see how quickly we can make up the lost turn. Alright. Break again, Aether Alchema again. And Overwhelm again. Alright, I think this is the third boss. And let's see how many turns I have left. Turn 10, I got five turns. Is she still... yes, she's still crazy. So Aether Alchema, Nocturnal, Overwhelm. Let's see how much damage we can knock off with that hit. Wind type weekend. Well, that's not a big deal. All right. Lunatic again. Uh, we don't need attack order, so we will increase strength with weaknesses. Yep, weak to Aether Alchema. Nocturnal procession for three turns, and let's work in a prominence purge. All right, I can lunatic again. Looks like he tried to do a knockback. But I believe it was... Uh, Nocturnal Procession prevents knockback, so... That was a little bit of a lucky break. All right, Overwhelm. Uh, we'll do Rosa Liliac again. Illusion Black Dragon and Lunatic. That will put me at turn 13 with Lunatic to Alma. Alright, turn 13. Let's get a Prominence Purge going. Nocturnal Break. And Ether, that should put me at whatever HP stopper it may have. I think I just used up the break, though. Whoops. Oh, that's not good. 
All right, Tetra saved me from the confusion. We have an awakened crystal zone. Lunatic Alma. I think, what turn is it? Turn 14? I think we're gonna have to blow the AF bar on this one just in case there's another HP stopper. So we're gonna Aether Alchema. We're going to Illusion Black Dragon. She's gonna do whatever. And she will overwhelm and prominence purge. So let's go one. One, two, two, and then just spam one. One, one, two, two. Okay, boss looks like it might be dead. Never really know. I think I hit the requirement of over 500 million damage outside of the AF bar, so we're going to find out. Definitely cleared within 15 turns. That was kind of close. And let's see, did we do it all? Correct. Yes. Yes. All right. There we go. Stage two, complete with the Alma team. Three to go. All right, continuing along with the trial of those embracing emptiness. Stage three, party member does not get knocked out. Clear after dealing over 900 total damage in one turn in another force. Clear within 15 turns and clear any missions. So I have to use another force at some point and get over 900 million in damage. Don't know what the bosses are like for this one. They say Thunder is effective. We're gonna try it with the Wind team and see what happens. So I'm pretty sure I can get a hundred or nine hundred million. Oh, they have a barrier. I'm pretty sure I can get nine hundred million pretty easily in another force. Ah, uh, yeah, they each have a barrier. Okay, so why don't we do it this way? Let's see. Floor Breeze attacks all enemies. I can build up some defense. I think I'm going to blow the AF bar on turn one. Twin Blade primarily on the one in the back. I'll cast Depravity once, but then Dark Drill will attack all enemies three times, so that will start chewing through the barrier. I can build up some defenses, and Floor Breeze attacks all enemies as well and reduces their power. So I won't get much in, but I'll get some in. So I'm going to do one, two, 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 and then spam one until I switch over to Twin Blade Wolf. Two, two, two. One, 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 one. Twin Blade. Magical Smash, Elemental Guard. Alright. Well, there's not my 900 million. Alright. One's down. Which one has more stacks? This one has 12, so we'll Twin Blade that one. Dark Drill. Let's work in an Athdocus. And another Floor Breeze. See how many. I think I've used up what, two turns so far? Yep. Alright, so Twin Blade, Dark Drill, 
and a roar, and uh, let's voice and see it if she goes. Nope, oh, she's not going to go. All right, this is my last turn with Twinblade. Are you going to have a barrier too? Yes, you are going to have a barrier. How many stacks? 30. All right, so let's depravity for sure. Hmm. I have the AF bar back. Let's do it this way. This is my last turn with an awakened wind zone. If I don't blow Twin Blade Wolf, I'll have it for my next turn. So let's blow the AF bar again. It goes up pretty quick with this team. We got Starving Wolf. We'll work in some defenses and some offenses. So one, two, 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 and then just spam one again. Let's try it. One, two, two, two. Spam, spam, spam. Eat up that barrier. We'll get another defense. Oh, that thing's already half dead. Wonder if it's going to restore its barrier. Even if it does, it shouldn't matter because I kept my twin blade wolf. And I was able to work in an Athdokus as well, so the team is pretty well buffed right now. All right, no wind zone. Got twin blade wolf. Uh, I don't know if it really matters what I cast at this point. Let's magical smash. But not. And we just stacked up floor breeze, so let's see if I can trigger a voice and seer. Chances are Sesta's gonna go. Yep. Alright. Last wave, I should get my wind zone back. Yep, there it is. Alright, he has a barrier, 35 stacks, twin blade, set pain. We worked in that, worked in that, so let's been knocked, and let's go ahead and foist and see here. It's been a little while. Keep the defenses going. I'm sure this guy has some type of HP stopper. If I need to, I already have the AF bar pretty much filled up again. Let's uh, Elemental Guard. Let's eh, Binoct again. We'll Twin Blade again. And this time, let's go ahead and... Hmm, let's Magical Smash this time, just for funsies. Probably hit another HP stopper here. Yep. So doing damage didn't really matter much, but I can at least buff up Sesta a little more. Alright, I think I have two turns left of the Awakened Zone. Ooh, last turn. Alright. So let's not use Twin Blade Wolf, let's use Starving Wolf. I wonder if that's not going to chew through the barrier, though. So let's go ahead and blow the AF bar again. That seems to work pretty well. We'll work in uh, some depravity, dark drills, we'll beef up defenses. So one, two, three, and three. I think will be the appropriate thing, and then spam one. One, two, three, three. Spam one. Should bring it down to the next HP stopper. Yep. Worked in some more defenses and kept the Divine Wolf stack.
I've seen that. Trial stage three, extreme, zero damage on Sawyer. All right, we have an awakened shade zone, but we have a twin blade wolf. So we're going to, oh, it looks like all the debuffs are there. So let's just go ahead and dark drill, been knocked. And we've already cast both of those, so I might as well floor breeze it. And there we go, stage three. I think I hit all of the requirements. Not sure if I hit the, was it 900 million in one hit or 900 million total? Let's see, 900 million total. Oh, I got that. We definitely cleared in 15 turns and cleared all missions. All right, stage three complete. Two to go. All right, continuing on with Trial of Those Embracing Emptiness. Extreme, stage four. I'm looking at the wiki. I need to clear 900 million total damage in another force, but I also need to clear 900 million damage in one hit outside of another force. And that one's gonna be the tricky one. So I've modified my team a little bit. I'm gonna try something kind of weird. I'm going to try and work in Xion, and what I'm going to do is have him swap in on the second boss, do his paper tiger, and swap back out. And in doing so, that will hopefully make the second boss weak to wind, and then Sesta should be able to do a decent amount of damage, hopefully over 900 million. Grasta-wise, all I want him to do is survive, so I just gave him Grasta like sound body, HP, and since he's going to be in the back row most of the time, I went ahead and threw in just a shared proficiency debuff resistance. But because of the shared Grasta, that means Melody's health is a little bit higher than normal. In Sesta's case, instead of the Vitality badge, I'm going to use the Weak Point badge because that improves her damage by 30%, whereas the Vitality badge only improves it by 20 and it requires her to be at full health. So Azami is holding the power of Gale Katana Grasta along with the enhanced HP Katana Grastas. So we're going to see how this works. Um, obviously your first time trying it. And the other things I have to clear within 20 turns. So. That might be a little difficult as well, since I'm manipulating my team somewhat. Well, we won't learn unless we try. May heaven's mercy guide us. Five waves. All right, she's got a twin blade, depravity. Let's have her faith Sesta now, and let's start building up some defenses. All right, hit the HP stopper. He wants Thunder Zone. We don't want Thunder Zone. And Melody's fight. Nah, fam, we got gotcha. you. All right, we have Wind Zone. Let's go ahead and blow the AF bar and get Gunce's aura going too. We have a Faith Sesta, so her power's already up, so let's get it up even more. Maybe we can also hit that 900 million on this turn. So we have, we're going to, uh, might work in one magical smash and then dark drill. So three, we'll work in some defenses. So let's just do, make it simple. Two, two, Actually, let's just go ahead and do threes. So three, 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 and then Twin Blade will probably kill it, but we'll just do a Binocked anyway to be on the safe side. So we'll do 
one been knocked, but otherwise spam ones after the threes. And when the AF bar gets to about there, we'll switch over to twin blade. All right, so one, three, 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 one, the knocked, and now spam ones. Twin blade. I don't know if we hit all nines for that. Nope. All right, so we'll have to do that again later. All right, so I was thinking about using this guy for our test run. So let's go ahead, switch. How many turns left do we have of that two? All right, so we'll twin blade. We'll switch. Depravity. We worked in those, so let's go ahead and start reducing power. As a crystal zone, that's probably not good. Alright. We're going to... Oh, come on. We're not going to do anything? Everyone's confused. That's annoying. At least Paper Tiger was selected. All right, Paper Tiger was used. Now, can I swap back? Yes. Let's go ahead and Floor Breeze. I kind of want to Dark Drill, and let's go ahead and Sky Mirror. Now we need Melody to kick in her Wind Zone. Frontline, Defenses, Magical Smash, and let's Sent herself. Starving Wolf is a weakness, so that's good. Upon you. All right, now we're just waiting on Melody to activate Wind Zone. Check. And everyone's confused again. Really? Well, uh, let's go ahead and improve type attack for three moves. This is definitely going to eat up my turns, though. Okay. We can Twin Blade. We can Dark Drill. We can Binot. And Foy Sincere. So the question now is, let's go ahead and depravity. We need pain. So the goal is to try and get 900 million in one of the final two hits of Twin Blade Wolf. Preemptive, preemptive, and let's see if that did the trick. Oh no. That's not good. Shit, the monster died before I could uh, do anything. Okay. Well, and I used my paper tiger. All right. So it's a damage reduction. All 
All right, so this is my final turn of that. Let's see if we can get at least the 900 million this time around. So we will Starving Wolf, we will Depravity and Dark Drill, Benocton and Aurora, and we should probably rebuff Voice and Seer and Floor Breeze. Maybe work in Elemental Guard. All right, got everything worked in that I wanted to. There's the twin blade. There's all nine, so at least we did 900 million in another force. I'm curious what turn we're on. Turn 10. Alright, let's see. Starving Wolf. We'll do Depravity. Probably Act Docus again, and we kind of worked in everything, so we're just kind of waiting for Melody to kick back in a wind zone. There we go. Twin Blade Wolf. Let's Depravity again. And knocked. Actually, let's Anna Roar. And let's redo Elemental Guard, shall we? We'll hit some HP stopper, I'm sure. Yep, there. Shade Zone. Melody, you gonna help me out this turn? Nope, not this turn. Oh, Awakened Shade Zone, that's not good. I wonder if I should blow the AF bar. What turn is it? 13? Yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and do it, just to be on the safe side. Still want to clear it in 20 turns. Oh, my. Oh, I thought I was on the, four, the final boss. So I thought I was on wave four. Oh, hey, Clark. How's it hanging? All right. Depravity. Let's, I guess, Starving Wolf. Let's beef up defenses a little bit. I think Elemental Guard is still good, so let's Floor Breeze it. And see what happens. Oh, he heals. That's wonderful. All right, Melody, anytime you want to... Uh, Thank you. All right. All right. Oops. Twin Blade Wolf. Dark Drill. Been knocked. And let's voice and sear it. All right, I'm assuming that's an HP stopper. All right. 
right, twin blade. Uh, let's magical smash it, maybe. We did an Ath docus, so we been knocked. And let's go ahead and reestablish elemental guard if Sesta doesn't kill Clark first. Oh, don't revive or anything. You're gonna revive. Oh, last wave. Okay. Alright, let's see where I'm at. Barrier. Hurt my team. Oh, great. Everyone has barriers. Alright, turn 17. So I gotta do this in three turns. That's crazy. Okay. How many turns left do I have of this? One. Okay. So... We do have a mostly full AF bar, though. So resist, 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 no. Well, let's go ahead and the knot. We can twin blade during it and maybe get the wings down. So let's see, we're going to Starving Wolf. Depravity, two, two, the usual twos, and then spam ones, and work in the Twin Blade Wolf. Depending on how the wings go, I might hold off on the Twin Blade Wolf and save it for the next turn. Alright, let's just see what happens. Yeah, this is not going to be pretty. We got one wing down. Still a no. Definitely not going to clear this in 20 turns. Let's see. Let's dark drill it. Let's an aurora it. Starving wolf and floor breeze. Reduce that damage even further if possible. Zone. So three turns of wind zone. We can knock out one wing with twin blade. Depravity. Been knocked. Let's do a voice and seer again. Alright, there goes one wing. Let's go ahead and do the next wing. Twin blade. Let's do a magical smash. Been knocked. And we did a fully sincere. Looks like we just still have stacks of floor breeze, so let's do an elemental guard. Alright, now we should be able to do damage to the main body.
All right, twin blade. Depravity is still on there, so I guess we'll dark drill. We'll be knocked and floor breeze. This is turn 21, so we've definitely missed the turn 20. All right, let's uh, see what happens. Assuming there's an HP stopper. Looks like it. And now we have to go through the wings again. Well, the wings don't have barriers. That's always a good thing. So I guess now would be a good time maybe to blow the AF bar again. Get those wings out of the way. Let's do that. So we're going to depravity, then not. We'll start doing uh, floor breezes. We'll do floor sincere and then floor breezes. And we will just starving wolf it the whole time. So. More. Two, two, two. Well, those wings actually have a lot of health, apparently. But everything's been debuffed, so hopefully I can survive. Got an awakened wind zone. Have a very mad Sesta. Front line, Athdokus. We will. Uh, let's. Magical Smash and Twin Blade. Shall we do that? Let's try it. Wow, those wings really have a lot of health. I'm not so sure how you do this in 20 turns. That's crazy. Isn't this still the fourth boss? Activates when AF gauge is full. I don't see any particular ores that would be making this so rough, so... Oh well, let's carry on then. So let's do... Dark Drill. Let's do an Ath Dorcas. And... How's our stacks going? Nothing's expiring yet, so let's work in an Elemental Guard. All right, one wing finally down. No. All right, Foy Sincere, been knocked. Let's do Depravity again. Actually, it looks like we need to Floor Breeze it. And Twin Blade. We'll lose some stacks otherwise. Yeah. Alright, that's what I'm a little more used to. There we go. Looks like it tried to do a knockback as well. Used it up on one character. All right, Foy Sincere. Let's Athdokus it. Since we don't have Wind Zone and let's Depravity. Yeah, just be on the safe side.
All right, we got our wind zone back. Turn one, we should be able to knock out that wing, which means turn two, we can work on him. So let's beef up and prepare for that. Cast both of those. Let's uh, let's elemental guard it just to be on the safer side. All right, he should be vulnerable. All right, turns left two, good. All right, we're gonna Starving Wolf a few times till the AF bar gets around there. We have Depravity going, so I might do a Magical Smash and then just Dark Drill it. I might just Dark Drill it the whole time. The Noct for sure, and then Anna Roar. And Floor Breeze it, so. Starving Wolf, the Noct, Floor Breeze, Starving Wolf, Dark Drill, Elemental Starving Wolf. Spam, spam, spam. Looks like boss is dead. Never quite know with these. Get a twin blade in there. I think there's supposed to be a fifth wave, unless this counts as the fifth wave. Yep, okay, that was the fifth wave, so no one died. Got 900 million in an AF bar. Definitely did not clear in 20 turns or get 900 million in one hit. Oh. Oh, in one use, yep. Yeah. Oh, I did get outside of another force. So, looking at that, I missed... Power of Fate, Fate Thunder and Resonant Power Shadow. Well, that's a little disappointing, but still, um, I did not think I got the 900 million damage in one hit outside of another force. Unless Sesta's Twin Blade Wolf adds together, I, I assumed each of the final two hits was considered two hits, not one. There were definitely some times where they added together to be over 900 million, so. Okay, might have to work a little bit more on that one, but that is stage four, done. All right, guys, we are continuing our trial of those embracing emptiness extreme. We are on stage five, and stage five mentioned, besides a, whoops, back. Effective attacks crystal, and they wish us luck. So, we're going to use my crystal, my Alma team, and just see what happens. The first boss is Melosia, who takes the form of different characters. So, let's get started. Let's go ahead and lunatic, drop a magic zone, pain poison, and overwhelm. The lunatic lasts for three turns. Alright, we're going to overwhelm again. Nocturnal procession it. We're going to, uh, let's go ahead and attack Order and Aether Alchema. That will create a break and attack Aldo with a Lunatic to Alma. Who's actually weak to her, so that actually should work out pretty well. The Nocturnal Procession went after Alma, so...
Now Alma should be buffed up even more. Aether Alchema, attack order, and we'll do another Overwhelm. The goal was obviously not to clear everything because I needed to do it without any people in the back line. And I'm just not about to, to do that. So let's Elixir Ray. Let's Illusion back Black Dragon. Rebuff Rosa. And uh, let's Prominence Purge. She should restore mana now for the team. Yep. Now I'm trying to think, if I use Lunatic now, I'll have one turn where I zap him. Hmm. I'm trying to decide whether or not to blow the AF bar. Let's hold off on that, shall we? And let's overwhelm again. It doesn't look like Aldo's much of a threat to my team. Alright, turn one. Attack, break. We'll do yeah, let's do an elemental barrier for something a little different. Alright. Now following Melosia rules, we need to kill Thalilili to advance. Let's go ahead and blow the AF bar on her right now. We'll spam Aether Alchema, which it looks like she's weak to. Illusion Black Dragon. Doesn't really matter for her as long as we work in a Rosa Liliac. And I guess we'll just spam Overwhelm and Prominence Purge for her. So, one, one, two, two, followed by a bunch of ones. So, that way we'll get Gunsa's Aura going as well. So... One, one, two, two, and a bunch of ones. I was kind of hoping that she would be doing a little more damage. Guess without the break, it's a little more difficult. Guess I gotta kill Pry now. That's gonna be annoying. But we do have Gunsa's aura, so that's good. Alright, Aether Alchema. Break. And let's see. Overwhelm. Alright, Pry is about as useless as he is on my party. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and get that back. Illusion. Let's see, do we have... He doesn't have pain. Okay, well, we'll just overwhelm. I don't feel in danger of dying, but... Uh, 
Yeah, let's um, illusion black dragon it. I don't like his heals though. Wow, that was a pretty strong attack. I didn't like that attack. Let's, uh, maybe we should make sure that doesn't happen again. Does he still have rage? He still has rage. So, Aether Alchema, attack order, nocturnal procession, and overwhelm. She is destroying this group. All right. We have to do something about that. We're still on Melosia, too. That's crazy. All right. Almost still lunatic. Yes, she is. All right. Black Dragon, Pain, Overwhelm. Let's see how badly they try to kill me. Ray, Overwhelm. Well, let's do that and try to decide when to do the reincarnation. Should probably just go ahead and reincarnate now. My Lunatic. Let's nocturnal procession and let's blow a chivalry just in case. Probably a good thing. That was a lot of damage. All right, we gotta kill Melina, so let's blow the AF bar and Ether Alchema her to death, hopefully. Break, Rosa, Overwhelm. There's the break. Man, this isn't kidding about difficulty. Looks 
like they cleared their overwhelms too. Uh, I think this is a losing situation. Oh wow. Okay. So now we get to face this person without a tank. Okay, where are we at with reincarnation? Nothing soon, so let's go on the defensive here. And elixir ray. Immunity. Mm. Guess we can start willing down its health if I can revive soon. Looks like next turn. Sidekick, reincarnate. The soul still burns. Front line. Let's get nocturnal procession, illusion, and let's go ahead and lunatic. When she moves into the front line, they'll create a slash zone, though. Attack order to create the magic zone, Ether Alchema, Nocturnal, and we will not cast a fire spell, so overwhelm. Thunder. All right. Ether Alchema, break, give me a shield, and prominence purge. Okay, am I still a lunatic? Let's see, thunder. Yes, I am. Says weak. Nocturnal and overwhelm. All right. Next up. Oh, not next up. All right, looks like it's resetting. I uh, don't think I'm lunatic anymore. Nope. So let's restore Lunatic. Illusion Black Dragon while I can. Rosa Liliac and Overwhelm. Reduce its power and intellect some more. to the power of fire, so no overwhelming. Oop. And no illusion black dragon, so I guess we're going to attack order. And lunatic.
Unfortunately, it's not doing much damage, so that's a good thing. Alright, Aether Alchema, Break, Nocturnal, Overwhelm. Now, let's see what's next. Alright, that's Chaos Stance. Alright, my AF bar is full, so now I've just lost some of my power. That's annoying. Yeah, let's see, am I still lunatic? Yes, I am. Oh. Might as well um, magic zone it and blow the AF bar. Actually, let's just do it this way. Let's set stuff up. So let's overwhelm, Rosalilia, the usual. Oh, wow. Definitely likes the chaos zone. Am I still lunatic? Yes. So let's do the exact same thing as before. So Nocturnal Procession was the Cyclone Wind immunity. Overwhelm. Alright. Let's do another Overwhelm. I like that Cyclone Wind immunity, and... Hmm, it's weak to fire. But the second I use a fire attack, it's gonna be worse. So I guess we're just gonna keep attack ordering. And Elixir Ray for another Lunatic. Pretty sure my Lunatic is out. Yep. Looks like it just cleared its debuffs. Okay, well, we can play that game. It didn't try knocking me out, so there's a Liliac, Overwhelm, Attack Order, and Lunatic, because I can't do fire damage. That hurt. Let's Aether Alchema and Attack Order. And Overwhelm again. Guess we can blow the AF bar. So let's. Well. No, that'd be a bad idea. That fire aura. Alright, we'll just slow and steady. Looks like I hit an HP stopper there. Ether, break. Rosa Liliac, Overwhelm. Alright, fourth wave. In like turn 30 or something by now. Let's see. Ooh, turn 36. This is taking a while. Alright. And the gauge is full. 
Okay, water and wind, not an issue. Water and wind, not an issue. Okay. So, she's still a lunatic. Does not look like it. Okay, so elixir ray, attack order, and start the defenses. Absorb, so let's illusion black dragon you. And let's lunatic. Ticked Alma. Probably turn like 40 something. Let's, let's see, that should be up. And let's see, how many stacks do I have? Two stacks. Let's do one more overwhelm for good measure. Hit the HP stopper. purge this time around. We got three stacks still up. Yep. Now I think I could blow the AF bar and be a little safer. How many, uh, how many turns of lunatic do I have? One turn. All right. So it resists, but is not immune to fire. All the debuffs are up. So why not? We're going to Ether Alchema, do one attack order and then illusion. I'll do one. Uh, let's do nocturnal, it looks like. And a prominence purge. So we're going to do one, three, two, and then spam one. And we should hit the HP stopper, hopefully. One, three, two, one. There's the HP stopper. There's an elemental barrier. So we got our defenses beefed up. We can hit the HP stopper. It likes that chaos stance. We're going to lose the three stacks of Overwhelm, so we'll do that. We'll do uh, Rosa Liliac, get out of Chaos Stance, and restore Lunatic. I tell you, it is satisfying to see a super boss, you know, Extreme Trial, difficulty 16, smack my tank for zero. That's pretty cool. All right. So let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. Yep. All 
All right, Ether Alchema, create a break, Rosaliliac, and Overwhelm. Let's see what the last wave is. Hmm, pretty looking. Hmm, that's not good. Alright, when the AF gauge is full, I lose some power. When my hit points, or when its hit points are 50 or below, it's going to start doing more damage. Okay. And what are you? Um, just something. Now, do I kill you first, or do I go after you? Let's see. Resists fire. Rosaliliac, overwhelm, and... Hmm. Let's try killing you first. Crystal type resistance increase. Okay. That's annoying. Alright. Well, wasn't boosted enough, I guess. Alright, let's see. I see a counter disappearing. When hit by attack other than crystal. Okay. So, no fire attacks. Am I still lunatic? Yes. We'll do break, ether. I uh, guess we'll go with nocturnal and overwhelm. The usual. Alright, that probably activated its aura. Alright, let's see. The counter thing disappeared. I'm assuming I'm no longer lunatic. Yep. So, elixir. Attack order. Rosa. Overwhelm. Dragon it, nocturnal and overwhelm. Okay, that's my three stacks of overwhelm going. We'll do that, create a break. And let's Prominence Purge. It's been a while since they've been enraged. Actually, let's not Prominence Purge. That would ruin the break. Let's Elemental Barrier this turn. Alright. Does it have that weird counter now? No, it does not. Uh, let's see, we have Lunatic Alma. We have an almost full bar. Let's do this. Let's uh, Ether Alchema. Let's Suzaku. Let's work that in and finally awaken the zone. And then we can Illusion Black Dragon it. Nocturnal. How many overwhelms we got? Three. Okay, so one. Two, two, one, and then just spam one. And let's, what turn are we on? 49, what a long fight. I don't even know if it's over. There might be another HP stopper. So one, two, two, one, spam one. 
Come on, no more HP stoppers. All right, it looks dead. Is it really dead? Oh, I got so few of the achievements. Complete in what, 25 turns is one of the achievements? Yep. But you know what? We cleared it. And that's the first step. I can always come back and work on the achievements later. So I'll take that. <laughs> Not a single achievement. Let's see. People died. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. I actually kind of figured Alma would have done that at some point. Oh well. Uh, and then clear all other missions. Yep, that did not happen. But you know what? First three, completely cleared. Four and five, something to work on in the future. No shame in not completing everything on the first try. So, and that was like, what, 50 turns? I think it was on t turn 49 right before I killed it. So, uh, definitely room for improvement there, but... Well, guys, that is Trial of Those Embracing Emptiness Extreme with uh, a little bit of my Wind team and my uh, Alma team taking care of business. So for details on both of those teams, Gear and Grasta, check out my February 2024 Superboss team. It has both of these covered. I did manipulate them a little bit at times uh, to make sure that I could complete some of the requirements, but overall that's what I had and it did get the job done. So anyway, hope this helps. Casual Chrono, signing out.